Hello everyone! Welcome back to a very special edition of Shadow Toys Photography, where today we are celebrating reaching over 100 subscribers. Wow! Thank you for choosing to watch this channel and of course subscribing. It really, really means a lot. And let's bring in uh, let's bring in Gomez from the last video real quick here as I blabber on. Now I do want to apologize for not uploading as uh, frequently as I'd like to. There's a reason for that. I uh, I unfortunately have uh, what's called Meniere's disease. Now. If you don't know what that is, it basically gives me unpredictable episodes of vertigo. Now, you may be asking yourself, what's vertigo? Vertigo is basically extreme dizziness that doesn't stop. It's like being on a merry-go-round that doesn't stop, or like that movie Inception with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, where it feels like the whole room is turning and you completely lose balance, like, <laughs> it sucks. Saying it sucks doesn't even do it justice. Um, and most days it's so bad, I can barely even open these uh, great figures and let alone review them. So that's one of the things, I guess the main reason why I can't upload and make videos as much as I'd like to. So when I say I am truly thank you, thankful for you watching these videos and supporting this channel, truly, sincerely, I mean, it means a lot. You have no idea. So really, uh, thank you. <laughs> Seriously. Kind of looks like he's uh, skiing here. Anyways, um, as, as far as I, uh, where I want this channel to go, well, I mean, I hope uh, the sky's the limit. Uh, despite the daily hurdles that myself and I guess... <laughs> really everyone is dealing with lately on a daily basis. Um, you know, I want to remain positive. Um, criticism's always welcome, whether it's about the figure or the channel or whatever. You know, just uh, be respectful to, you know, one another. I mean, conflicting uh, opinions are, again, welcome. And uh, I want us to help each other, you know, help uh, each other grow as a community. There's no reason why if you subscribe to me, for example, I can't uh, subscribe to you, you know? And speaking of subscribers, I want to take a moment to thank all the recent ones. There's been quite a few. Uh, let's see here. Tensho, Invincible, Johnny, Cole, Beanie, Tommy, Brett, Kong, Hirsch, John, Mr. Lost, Omari, Garlunds, Eduardo, Tony, Jason, Adam, and Henry. And if I missed anybody, I apologize, but uh, truly, I mean, thank you so, so, so much. And you know how much it means to me. Truly, guys, I mean, thankful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, way over, actually, when this video is being made, I'm a little bit over 100 now on our way to 200. So I figure every hundred uh, subscribers or so, you know, I'll do a little personal video, something about myself, I'll play with some figures or whatever. Here, I'll stop filling with him. I'll stop blabbering so much. Well, we'll blabber a little. But anyways, let's talk about Gomez for a little bit here. And we'll, I'll bring in a whole bunch of figures as we go along. But yeah, I just put, uh, this head is from uh, Clan of the Golden Dragon, Gomez. And I feel like, it works really well here. Now, as you can see, uh, this diorama, I made this board back here myself. Um, just, you can kind of tell the squares aren't exactly perfect. I mean, they're, uh, you know, parallel and perpendicular, whatever, to each other. But um, you can see on the insides, it's a little, I couldn't get that. I do everything by hand. I really don't have the space for machines or whatever, or have a... I mean, I guess I have access to a garage, but it's really so cluttered. I don't, there's really no space. So, you know, I got to do everything by hand in a small area. So I can't really use the so much tools for everything. But uh, here, let's, um, I got all these weapon racks from all, I got G.I. Joe here. I got Ninja Turtles. I got some anime. Let's, uh. Let's put Gomez up with some weapons. Let's turn this around here. This is from the G.I. Joe Snake Eyes Hasbro Pulse Exclusive. 
Yes, I collect other things other than Mezco, believe it or not. <laughs> uh, a lot of other things, and, you know, I'd like to start doing more. Um, his hand's open, I'll do this hand. Uh, more uh, reviews from more uh, different companies and figures, because as much as I love Mezco, and I, you know, I think they're number one in the sense of, like, aesthetic plus articulation you know when you you could argue you know obviously there's places that have better articulation obviously statues or hot toys for example is gonna have a better uh, a better look but i feel like this is just a, a healthy beautiful balance of both um <laughs> i don't know why the heck they don't have the star wars license yet i mean they would just <laughs> I would stop buying uh, imports, that's for sure. You know, if Mezco hears that, I mean, there'd be really no reason for me to get figure arts when I could buy from a New York company that's right in the backyard. Let's switch them up. Um, you know, support them making Star Wars. I mean, I love Hasbro, but, you know, I'm a little older and uh, they're a little kids toyish, which is fine. I mean, they're definitely making leaps and bounds with those. But uh, actually, I forgot to bring in the new one. I'll have to go uh, grab him. There's a sword there. Sneak Eye slash Red Ninja Sword. You all can see that. Z, you you kind of guess. He's going to probably be able to hold all these weapons just fine. Let's see if, let's see if he can do the, the Raphael with this one. Oh, yeah, a lot easier. Poke your eye out. Let's pop it in here real quick. There we go. Not bad. Jeez, what an amazing figure. I mean, nice surprise. Whoops. Let's see if I can grab that, put that on there. One thing is, you don't stay on here. Ah, I know my hand's a little shaky because I'm trying to balance everything. Okay, it's the longer sword. Um, yeah, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Something about GI Joe, probably, and uh, how hard they've been to collect this year. I mean, this year's been hard enough. <laughs> I just want some darn GI Joes. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Now I'm sure I'll bring in another a couple other Gomez's in a bit. Just having so much fun with this guy. Nice surprise. From Mezco. He's holding that kind of silly. Not the greatest pose there. I see him kind of doing a swing. Change direction here. I don't, I don't usually like the realistic uh, roach head. I'm not a fan of bugs. I'm sorry. <laughs> not, nothing against Mezco. But uh, I love the bodies. I mean, they're just fantastic. But this head really works with this suit and with this uh outfit and lastly I'm gonna pop this back on here yes all right they stay is this your typical gomez glove something melee while holding hand
But yeah, not bad. And I know my videos run uh, kind of long. I'm sure you hit that fast forward button. Mucho. Let's do the uh, bow staff from the Ninja Turtles foot soldier. And I'm surprised uh, Gomez didn't come with a uh, bow staff. The Lone Roach and Grub had one. Well, it's technically for a flag, but. Sweet. But yeah, I was saying, um, I know my videos run a little long, but I feel it's important to, uh, I know I've said this before, show everything, show everything off. Right, before I was talking about the diorama of the, uh, made the back part just out of uh you know the white foam board you see uh, you get it um anywhere pretty much uh, let's try the axe or my axe yeah the floor is made uh actually from we got hardwood floors in actually my uh, mother-in-law got hardwood floors in and they had extra pieces like, hey, you want to use this? I'm like, yeah, sure. Matches pretty well. Nice. It's hard. Stuff can balance. I guess I don't really do the, the balance thing, do I? Get on that squad. I guess he's going to be looking this way a lot because he got his left hand. Oh, so this one's kind of cheating. No, he's not leaning against the back thing, even though it looks like he is. But yeah. Not bad. If you're not a fan of Gomez or Mezco, but like the nin NECA Ninja Turtles, as you can see, these will make some nice fill-ins for your uh, Foot Clan army. Oh yeah, and he kind of... Bruce Lee in Game of Death kind of uses a similar weapon. Actually, sadly, I popped on Game of Death the other day because I have it. Now, I know I had the American version. I know it's not as good as the uh, original, but I didn't realize how bad it was. Like, holy smokes. Like, ugh, it's atrocious. I don't know why I have this movie. And I used to have the whole, like... I, I could have sworn I had the whole on VHS Bruce Lee Master Collection and it had the Chinese con uh, Connection and End of the Dragon and all those great movies, but I, can, uh, I can't find it. May have sold it in my younger, more foolish days. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, and I heard, and this was like... <laughs> 15 years ago that the let's try the katana that the original version of game of death is hard to find maybe it's easier now or probably impossible i don't know the internet is a crazy thing i don't know well, can i go this way kind of Kind of looks like an alien. If you nice, if you ignore the mandible thing back there, not bad actually. I kind of like that head sculpt. Actually, kind of now it's kind of looking like a butt, and I can't unsee it like a dirty, dirty butt. <laughs> right, let's turn him back around. Let's make sure his neck is. Oh uh, yeah, I uh, twisted his neck. There we go. Now you can see I still got the same hands on them as the review video, because I mean what I say, man. I don't like changing those wrists. On any figure. Again, not just anything against Mesco, but now I'm getting the bride a little bit. Kill Bill. Minus the head, of course. You know what? Actually, I think I have a Uma Thurman figure, that old... Oh, man, was it McFarlane? 
Yeah, the movie Maniacs, I'm pretty sure. I gotta go uh, go back, grab her, pop that head off, and put her on here. I mean, it's a little bit of a male body, and of course that... Uh, may have to shave that nub down, but... She's not... Uh, Uman Thurman, was it? I don't recall her being incredibly busty, so... The male body might work. I mean, it's slim enough. Costume looks great. The bulge definitely would have to go. Um, okay, let's try an anime. Uh, I think a little anime video game. Mir Otomeda. I know I probably butchered that. Sorry. The possibilities are endless. Now, I haven't done this yet with him. I'm just doing it now. Oh, man, is that it? No, wait, I got a pair of nunchucks. Now, I like that he came with one with a wire, but admittedly disappointed that he didn't come with one with a chain because it's like, NECA did it. <laughs> you know, it's like, come on. Enough of this silliness with all these companies. Just... Give us the goods, all right? Open pre-orders. Oh yeah, I was talking about pre-order stuff with G.I. Joe before. Just across the board, NECA, Mezco, you know, I feel blessed I was able to get this and I feel for people who didn't because I've been there. Oh, believe me, I've been there. I've been a little blessed this year despite it being so rough um, to be able to catch up and get a couple of these guys. But yeah, this is uh, this is sweet, by the way. He should have came with one with the chain. <coughs> Excuse me. But, uh, but, yeah, as far as pre-orders are concerned, you know, um, they definitely, across the board, again, whoever you are, leave it at least two weeks open pre-order. Open pre-order to begin with. None of this uh, we run out. I don't understand that. I mean, I don't have a marketing business degree, but, uh, you know, wouldn't you want to sell max number? And make a lot of profit and get your great product in the hands of as many people as possible so they are hungry for your next product and so on and so forth but anyways two weeks at least two week open pre-order why two weeks because some people who well everyone's hard working out there and no matter what you do and some people get paid bi-weekly and that's unfair for them to miss out on a, only a week pre-order or whatever. Everybody, a lot of people live paycheck to paycheck or worse, not everyone's blessed. And, uh, you know, two-week pre-order at least gives bi-weekly people a chance to get something, you know. Um, yeah, open pre-order again because get these in as many hands as people that want them, for goodness sake. Let's grab some other figures in here. I'm gonna start it, uh, griping the companies a bit. Let's, uh, shift some stuff around. Okay, let's, um, uh, let's bring in something else. Um, <laughs> this was funny, UFC. I'm, I'm sure you've seen these and these have been around, but I picked these up, uh, about a couple months ago, I think over the summer. I like UFC. I'm not crazy about it. I don't know who actually who everyone any, uh, is, but, uh, for $20, this figure isn't bad. I mean, great articulation. I mean, super tight joints, cloth goods. I mean, admittedly, when you move it, his pants start coming down, but luckily they gave him underwear, so that's cool. I mean, paint's a little weak on the face. is a little Hasbro, uh, what, 2016, 2017? Just a couple years back before they started doing photo reel. But, I mean, butterfly joint on a $20 figure. I like this ab crunch because it's more of a realistic crunch, not that ugly square that Hasbro is just in love with, with their Marvel Legends. Ah, it's so unattractive. This, uh, this just, and of course you need the waist uh, twist there. Plus this really gives him, I know I'm not doing it justice. I don't practice. But as you can see, yeah, his pants are coming down. But it's still cloth goods on a $20 figure. Butterfly joint. Comes with extra head hands. Not bad. 
I forgot who makes it. Maybe it says on his feet or something. No. You can see, hey, that's pretty good. No printing. Like, made in blah, 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 over here and the dates and all that. It's hidden away. On your butt, perhaps. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to spend too, too much time on it. But, yeah, just thought I'd throw that out there. Well, of course, as a comparison. Pull your pants up. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Oh, well, he's going to have the mid-sag there. Yeah, stacks up next to Gomez. Not too bad. But adds a little character, depth. Um, more uh, variety in your figure collection. Put him back there. Let's bring in... Um, <clears throat> let's bring in... Uh, let's go Ninja next. With, again, I believe this is the, yes, the Clan of the Golden Dragon on this one. I don't know if I put it on this body, but I'm about to. I love these ninja bodies, these ninjas. I mean, make a million of these. I said this way long ago in one of my older videos. I said they should make law enforcement, fire, um... Ambulance people, uh, emergency, EMS, and an endless plethora. Oh my god, I'm, I can't speak. It's kind of late. Um, mucho <laughs> ninjas, a never ending supply of ninjas. Just have them up to their eyeballs and ninjas. Now, I know we're getting different colors and flavors, but which I appreciate. I want more of. Let's do a head swap. But yeah, just regular black ninja. Oh, that looks uh, that looks pretty good. Oh, I like that a lot. Let's bring that. Uh, let's bring that up close here. He seems happy. What do you think? No focus. Nah, sometimes it does it. Now we're just playing around. Yeah, not bad. Oh yeah, I know I robbed you. <laughs> you know I said in every video I forget something. Obviously, I forgot. Uh, let's leave that head on him for now. I forgot to take down his zipper. So, let's do that. Last video. Oh, yeah. And then turn around nice and slow for us. Was that a butterfly joint in there? Oh, yes. Very nice. How far do you go down? We're going to be a little naughty and look down your pants. Okay, looks like it wraps around like a one-piece bathing suit. <laughs> this is very, I want to say flimsy, thin, very thin, thin, like thinner than his shorts. But that is awesome that they put that underneath there. That is perfect. So yeah, as you can saw, you saw his leg, his naked leg under there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this back up. I prefer the full Kill Bill version. Um, yeah, as you saw in there, his uh, naked leg. So it doesn't. He's got nothing on underneath that. But if you're a customizer and your thing is ripping apart Mezcos. And I would say, uh, all you need to do is pop this off, and you could pop any pair of pants you want on there. Oh, yeah, I like how you can see it. Yes, it does come through on camera. Yeah, muscle shirt underneath. I know that shirt has many names. Now, it's, uh, it's 2020, so we got to be a little PC. And like I said, I always open up with everyone, because I want to respect everyone, like I said. But, uh... Muscle shirt, I think the exact, uh, the correct thing is called, it's an A shirt. Okay, for A holes. Anyways, um, let's put this, uh, kick, just show, uh, show off my 
Golden Clan what, what head I actually do have on there. I got him looking like a, a little bit like the wasp bug with his arrows. Pop the head back there. Let me knock over those weapons easily. All right, let's see. Let's get a comparison. Um, hmm. Let's, uh, oh, you know what? It's getting big Bluto. A lot bigger. You know what? I may have to pop into the corner. I don't know if I compared him last time to a bigger character like this, but this is how Bluto and Gomez stack up. Stand in for Hakeem until they make a Cream Abdul Jabbar figure, because that would be <laughs> only the best thing ever. Again, brave uh, customizers will put a foot, giant footprint on them. Oh, yeah. You can, like, I bet you could hold him. Oh, yeah, he can. Here, let's, uh, let's try this for a second. I haven't tried this yet. So I'm not going to take very much of your time. Can you hold him like a baby? Or in one hand? Like a beer? I feel like he had it before. Nah, eh, maybe not. Or maybe I'm just being chicken now. No, okay. Never mind. Maybe he can. I'm sure he can. <laughs> Let's pop Pluto in the plat in the back there. Let's bring in um Let's go off color here. Let's uh Let's bring in Goku Black. Cuz I do like the figure arts. I prefer my favorite figure arts, I mean, obviously besides Star Wars because Mezco doesn't do them. <clears throat> um yeah, it's the Star Wars line. I really like it. I, I like Hasbro, but I don't know. I've said this before. It's just the feel about it is just really nice. Um, this figure has been a grail. I've been after this figure for a while. Shout out to uh, Dean Amazing, who always has flash sales. Is able to scoop this guy up. Finally. Thank you. Um, yeah, very nice figure. Happy to get him. Or my older posts on my Instagram. I have, uh, put that I'm very sad that I missed this figure. It's from long ago. But anyways, talking about figure arts, um, other than Star Wars, and of course Dragon Ball here, kind of fell into Dragon Ball only because, really, their Naruto line. Yeah, I'm gonna go there. I'm sorry if, uh, if you're not a fan of it, you might as well fast forward right now, because I'll talk about it. I'll try and keep it brief. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's just very disappointing, obviously. I mean, it's the first time it's happened to Naruto fans, so let me bring it back. I mean, I don't know if you guys remember, um, was it Media Play? No. Um, FYE. FYE. They carried a Naruto line, and they were, um, uh, a little, uh, they were smaller. They were a uh, five inch scale. So they came up to about here, I would say. And they did Naruto, Itachi, and Kakashi, of course. And they teased Sasuke, Dadara, and, G and Gara, who never came out. But uh, yeah, I got so into that line, so pumped, bought a bunch of Naruto's, thinking, yeah, they, you know, get him some clones. They're going to make Dadara and Sasuke. Oh my gosh. Disappeared. I think Toinami, yes, from to Toinami, <coughs> excuse me, made them. And yeah, discontinued. So heartbroken, right? So this gives me room to gripe. Figure Arts comes in. It's like, hey, you know, and I didn't jump in right away. I was like, no, you know, I'm not doing this again. You know, I was very upset about the show. I mean, the, um, well, yes, the manga ending, of course, in the show, but, uh, about that figure line ending, you know, and of course the Naruto card game, the Naruto CCG, I 
don't have any cards right here. Actually, no, I don't. But, uh, yeah, let's bring in uh, some other stuff. Actually, just a random Bailey from WWE. Mattel. Um, yeah, the Naruto uh, collectible card game line started collecting that hard. And they got up to right before the war. Like, they just made Madara and all that. But right, like... They didn't make, they just made the um, Nine Tails Cloak Naruto, but not just when he first mastered it kind of thing. Um, yeah, and then they, they killed it and then it disappeared. And then again, Toinami was like, sweet, and then killed it, disappeared. And then Figure Arts was like, hey, and they, uh, they were just, they're the best so far. I mean, the creme de la creme. And again, <laughs> discontinued heartbroken after those madaras i mean they went up to madara come on they made gara they made two different kinds of sasuke's of course naruto kakashi and itachi again who's the only akatsuki member we ever freaking get but uh yeah let's um let's do another one random before we get going here soon i got two more this one and one more but yeah, it's just such a great line. I mean, they kind of made Boruto a little too soon. And after uh, Jiraiya, they, sh they should have made Orochimaru and then Tsunade. Got this Sulu, by the way. Let me hold that, put a pin in that. From uh, Big Bad Toy Store. And he's actually ridiculously surprisingly good. Yes, he's on the Joker body. But, like, he comes with this little a bell, a patch, a sword. Like, he's got sculpted abs underneath he's wearing too much stuff for me to lift it up but a phaser two head sculpts this is his oh hello face which uh i like but we're just bringing out everyone who's wearing yellow from mezco oh actually they're they're different it's not that as crazy online but anyways yes i was saying uh yeah they should have made way better characters figure arts for that Naruto line. That's my that's my gripe and complaint and cry about it. <laughs> yes, I'm one of those who's always like continue it, please, and harasses Tamashi Nations, Mr. Sulu. You stand, sir. He will. Okay. Alright, one more before we get going here. Let's bring in uh let's see here. Let's bring in golden gomez with the, the glow head I, I can't i keep forgetting to get the gold ninja head and pop this on here but you'll see it eventually but yeah, i got the uh got a gun back here from the weapons pack i'll pop that out in a sec popped his clip i don't know if you can see it on his belt extra clip Put in his pants, just tucked it in. Making, I don't know, some kind of random thug. Yeah, I don't know if I finished my thought about figure arts, but that's all I gotta say about that. I'm a little over, all over the place. Like I said, it's late. I ramble. I try to get as much out as possible, because I don't know when Vertigo might strike and knock me out. And try and enjoy this stuff, this stuff as much as I can. Oh, by the way, luckily my, uh, that disease I mentioned earlier in the video, it's not life-threatening or anything like that. It's just, uh, disabling, <laughs> you could say. But yeah, he's giving me some boondock saints here, going back to his figure. So I have to pop my hand back there because Bluto kind of makes it disappear. Nice. Didn't jump on that weapon pack. Try and get on that wait list. I'm sure they'll do something or some other form of it. This is um, the Punisher handgun, I believe, in black. That's sick. Speaking of Boondock, Boondock Saints, I heard, I could have sworn, I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but that they're going to do a third one? I mean, Norman Reedus, you know, still acts. So they can definitely do something there. But anyways... This video is going to ran on kind of long, but again, thank you for watching and those who did stick it out to the end. 
I like to make them kind of long because it's kind of like an episode of something, you know? Speaking of uh, things nostalgic like G4, I heard was coming back. I've been, and that hit me right in the nostalgia. Oh my God, G4 with Attack of the Show and X-Play. Like, oh my gosh, they need to bring that channel back. Like, well, how are they going to paint it? compete with the internet we'll have shows about figures and showcase there's so much they can uh they can do oh, bring that show back bring that whole network back please oh my goodness that's a fly there's a fly in here the tiniest little fly you see it that's a sign to get going see mezco gomez tracks uh, other bugs goodness anyways thank you for watching thank you for supporting it truly means a lot as I said, from the bottom of my heart, I mean, to be able to do this, be able to do this, and for people to subscribe and watch, it's unbelievable. It's something so silly and so small, but it means so lot to so many people, and we really appreciate it. Thank you again. Uh, love everybody out there. Love you guys. Thank you. And comment, subscribe, uh, share, do all that good stuff. I don't like to say all that repeatedly because you know the deal. I don't need to tell you what to do. Anyways, thank you. My love, my thanks. Thank you. Thank you. I have a cat scratched me up while playing with her. It was all good. Anyways, thank you again. Take care.